the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and I answered O Lord God thou knowest again he said unto me prophesy upon these bones and say unto them O ye dry bones hear the word of the Lord thus saith the Lord God unto these bones behold I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live The Most High said to his people, Serve me by keeping my laws and adhering to my statutes and commandments. The Most High went on to say, If you will do this, I will be a God to you. Yah said he would set his people above all nations on earth. His people would be blessed. The Most High said there is no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. The Most High made many promises to his people. The conditions to receive the many blessings were to serve the Most High and keep his commandments. The Most High's commandments are not grievous. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. The Most High has laws to govern his people, just like the beast system has laws to control the people. If you do not have laws to govern the people, no one would survive. This world would be unbearable to dwell in. The people's wickedness would be out of control just like in the days of Noah. Without laws, violence would increase. The Most High had to cleanse the earth with a flood to purge the wickedness during the times of Noah. Keep in mind, the Most High had laws in place during the times of Noah. And God said unto Noah, the end of all flesh is come before me, but the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. There was never a time the Most High did not have laws for his people to follow. If you go back to the Garden of Eden, the Most High made his laws known to Adam. The Most High commanded Adam to take care of the garden. In addition, the Most High said to Adam, You can eat freely from the trees in the garden. However, from the tree of good and evil, you should not eat nor touch. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But... Of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Was the Most High's command to Adam grievous? Adam's job was to take care of the garden. Adam had permission from the Most High to eat from whatever tree he liked except for one. There were no other restrictions. When the Most High created Eve, Yah commanded both Adam and Eve to rule over the earth, and he gave them dominion. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Were the Most High's commands to Adam and Eve grievous? Adam and Eve allow Satan to deceive them to trade the wonderful future the Most High planned for them for a future of uncertainty, pain, and sorrow for them and their descendants. They trade their glory for the lesser. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. The indigenous people of the world are repeating the sins of Adam and Eve in every generation. Every time the kingdom of darkness come to renew the covenant made with Adam and Eve, the indigenous people of the world welcome the serpent and renew the covenant just as Adam and Eve did in their generation. 
Many indigenous black people of the world are trading their dominion for pain and suffering. Due to their stony hearts, they cannot perceive the great things the Most High has in store for those who serve him by keeping his statutes, laws, and commandments. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Regardless if you choose to serve the Most High or the kingdom of darkness, there are laws in place for you to follow. Nobody, including Satan, can do what he or she wants, only the Most High. There are standards that must be followed to obtain the many promises the Most High made to his people, or to obtain the worldly pleasures of this world. The Most High is the Alpha and the Omega. Whatever way he chooses to govern his creation, he can. The only lawgiver is the Most High, and he has the final say. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judgest another? Many people have lost sight of the Most High being the only lawgiver and destroyer. The indigenous people are used to governments run by their enemies, dictating their every move. Israelites, despite of presidents and kings ruling in their nations, the scriptures reveal it is the Most High who appoint kings and remove them as well. The Most High is in control of His creation. The only reason the world is in the condition that it is in, the indigenous people continue to rebel against the Most High. In addition, refuse to take control over the dominion the Most High gave to them. As a result of their failure to take care of the earth, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The indigenous black people live an oppressed life due to sin. For every action, there is a reaction. The Most High is not allowing the heathens to oppress his people for no reason. There are consequences for breaking the laws of men. The jail houses are full of indigenous people that have broken the laws of men. There are consequences for breaking the laws of the Most High. The laws of the Most High are supreme. The Most High judged Adam and Eve severely for their disobedience. The Most High will judge all who disobey His commandments. The guilty does not go unpunished. Due to the indigenous people's refusal to obey the Most High, the Most High is judging His people by allowing the heathens to rule over them. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all these commandments. And if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning ague that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. The kingdom of darkness has a history of manipulating the indigenous people to believe the commandments of the Most High are grievous. Due to this false analogy, many indigenous people settle for the pleasures of this world from the kingdom of darkness via the beast system. Satan will make it appear as if the most high standards are extreme to deceive you into forging a covenant. Satan will not disclose to the indigenous people his real intentions behind his blessings. Satan is the father of lies. For him to deceive the whole world, he must manipulate the person by speaking half-truth. The scripture said he deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The grass is not greener on the other side, simply because the kingdom of darkness gives you your flesh desires. If what Satan has to offer had any value, the indigenous people would be on top of the food chain. The indigenous black people spend many years rebelling against the Most High to serve Satan, and they have nothing to show for it. So all the indigenous black people that believe the ways of the Most High is too difficult, the kingdom of darkness has standards as well. Satan has requirements that you must abide by. 
Before Satan gives you your flesh desires, he requires a lot from you. Satan's gifts do not come without a price. Satan said to Yahshua, if you bow down and worship me, I will give you all the kingdoms of this world. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Satan did not say to Yahshua that I will give you all the kingdoms without wanting something for himself. The kingdom of darkness is not going to lavish you with gifts and not want something in return. The amount of people who allow themselves to be bought by the kingdom of darkness for temporary power, fame, and wealth amazes me. Many people allow Satan to sell them their own blessings. Satan does this by repackaging the blessings from the Most High in deception. Idolatry is the number one requirement from the kingdom of darkness. Remember, Satan wants to be worshipped and to be served like the Most High. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. The Most High's first commandment is there should be no other gods before me. Black people have been serving and worshipping an idol called Jesus Christ from the day of their birth until they die. Most black people pass down the idol worship of white Jesus to their children in every generation. Despite of serving this idol and dedicating their life to this idol, the indigenous black people remain bond men and bond women. They are still captives. Many indigenous people serve this idol wholeheartedly and still do not have any favor. Therefore, will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye know not? neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. The indigenous people serve their idols and make deals with the kingdom of darkness and still do not have favor in the sight of the heathens and the gods they trade their glory for. The heathens still rule over them. Despite of giving away their inheritance to become like the heathens, they are not respected. To insult the Most High even further with their abominations, the things the Israelites trade their glory for is not worth the sacrifice they must give to the kingdom of darkness. The indigenous people remain oppressed and at the bottom of the pyramid. I do not know how anyone could trade eternity with the Most High for temporary pleasures in this world. At the end of it all, they remain slaves. The indigenous people are willing to put their entire bloodline and nations on the line to have a seat at Satan's table. Just to have the workers of iniquity who are ranked higher than them in Satan's kingdom disrespect them and they remain at the bottom of the food chain in the beast system. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What can a person give in exchange for his soul? But what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? But what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Many Israelites and indigenous people fail to realize there is a hierarchy system for the kingdom of darkness and the Most High. In the employment system, there is the CEO, managers, supervisors, and the entry-level positions. The government system consists of the president, politicians, the court system, and civilians. In the church, there is the religious leaders, pastors, and the sheep. A healthy household consists of a father, mother, and children. The kingdom of darkness has Satan, the fallen angels, the lesser demons, and the human agents. You cannot escape hierarchy. The indigenous people who seek the kingdom of darkness for provision, they are placed at the very bottom. Only a foolish person would trade the provision from the Most High for an illusion from the kingdom of darkness. The indigenous people are oppressed and live in poverty all over the world. You can find plenty of indigenous black people serving the idols of the heathens, collaborating with the kingdom of darkness to destroy the earth. In addition, utilizing the resources of the kingdom of darkness to attack themselves. Yet the kingdom of darkness placed them at the bottom. 
the high level workers of iniquity that are indigenous and the individuals who seek Satan in secret believe they are obtaining favor from Satan and becoming equal with the heathens. The indigenous people have been trying to convince the heathens to make them equal for generations after generations. It is 2021. The indigenous people continue to serve the heathen idols and they are still not equal with the heathens in the beast system. The Most High will see to it that you do not rise in the beast system because of your disobedience and breaking his covenants. When you have a stony heart, you cannot look past the flesh. All Satan does is repackage the many promises from the Most High, deceive you into giving him your blessings. Satan make you perform rituals and give sacrifices for a blessing he stole from you. The indigenous people crave to be in the heathen's position of ruling the world. Yet when the Most High gave them dominion over the earth, they rejected it. Many are willing to sell themselves to the kingdom of darkness to obtain what the Most High already gave to his people. The Most High said, if you obey me, I will set you high above all nations on earth. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Yah is giving his people an opportunity to repent, to gain their dominion back in the coming kingdom. Instead of repenting, many indigenous people are complaining and continuing in the sins of their ancestors. Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Turn ye now from your evil ways, and from your evil doings. But they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. The Most High said, honor his statutes, laws, and commandments, and he would bless you. The indigenous black people rejected the Most High's covenants. Many Israelites choose the kingdom of darkness offers. Satan made the pagan lifestyle look appealing. Many indigenous people welcome the pagan's way of life. The pagan's traditions are offensive to the Most High. Satan added gifts, food, family quality time, and religion to deceive you into accepting the pagan's lifestyle. Israelites, this is how you are choosing Satan and trading your glory for the lesser when you participate in their abominations. I want Israelites to be aware of their decisions. The scripture said the heart is deceitful above all things and wicked. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Repeating the sins of our ancestors would not get us anywhere. Our ancestors wanted to serve the Most High and the idols of the heathens. Because of their lust to be like the heathens, they turned their backs on the Most High to serve idols that do not serve them. Serving the Most High gives you great privileges and benefits. The reason the people of the Most High do not inherit the many promises of the Most High, Israelites have a history of making poor decisions. Just like today, Israelites are replacing the Most High by setting their enemies above them to lead. Israelites are marrying their enemies. Israelites are worshiping a God that the heathens told them was the Elohim of Israel. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. The workers of iniquity who rule this world, they worship and serve Satan. He is a God to them. If you bow down and worship Satan, he will give you fame, money, power, and all your flesh desires. In exchange, the kingdom of darkness wants your soul. You must perform rituals, participate in blood sacrifices, and many other diabolical things you must do to achieve Bill Gates status. If you're willing to promote everything that is offensive to the Most High, the kingdom of darkness wants you. Anything that goes against the laws of the Most High is permissible with the kingdom of darkness. Regular people on social media blow up and become famous and make millions from social media because they will promote the agenda of the B system. You do not need a unique talent for the kingdom of darkness to recruit you. Anybody can become a celebrity. If you're willing to do as thou wilt and serve Satan, 
you can become the next Beyonce. Cardi B is a great example. No talent, but the number one artist right now. The kingdom of darkness convinced many indigenous people who believe they made it, that they are blessed and highly favored. Israelites, do not fall for the temptations from the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of darkness requires more from you than the Most High is asking of you. The cost to trade your glory for the lesser is not worth fame, power, and wealth during the heathen's reign. The scriptures reveal the people of the Most High have a stony heart. It is time that Israelites and the indigenous people repent and ask the Most High to create a clean heart in them. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. If the people of the Most High do what is right, they would be ruling. The Most High said he would give you a new heart and take away your stony hearts. Yah will place a new spirit in you. To the remnant that is being saved, the Most High said the dry bones shall live again. No longer shall you perish among the heathens, but you must adhere to his statutes, laws, and commandments to live. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God. And David my servant shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgments, and observe my statutes, and do them. A lot of our people are deteriorating among the heathens because they are in rebellion. The kingdom of darkness has placed a stronghold on them, and they are blinded by the affairs of this world. To the remnant, do not follow them. The Most High will provide and take care of his people among the heathens. If you honor the Most High's commandments, he will save you out of Jacob's trouble. There is no need to seek the kingdom of darkness for provision. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it. Israelites, do not spend your years laboring in the beast system, being tormented by the serpent seed and giving away your inheritance just to be placed at the bottom and disrespected. That is a terrible trade. Nothing is waiting for you in eternity when you serve the kingdom of darkness. It is time to trust the Most High and submit to his statutes, commandments, and laws for change. The Most High is aware of your conditions and wants to help. That is why he said the dry bones will live. Every generation can turn it around. A stony heart would cause you to live in misery forever. The idols of the heathens have done nothing for you. Israelites, it is time that you stop relying on the kingdom of darkness for provision. The time to wake up out of your slumber is now. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God.